Hello coffee lovers, Damien here at Depache Head Office. A new series of videos coming at you. This is the first installment. It is called Depache's Tech Tips. And the first one we have is a very common problem. It is with the new Mazda Bs and S models. So we've got the Super Jolly B, the Coney S, the Major V and the Rover S. And I'm gonna show you with the new design how to clean the grinder and the clump crusher. So it's very easy. You only really need four tools. So a cup is not really a tool, but that's gonna hold all your screws and little pieces. So we don't wanna lose them, very important. Um, we need a brush to clean. We need a little pick to take off the little rubber covers and a five mil Allen key and a Phillips head screwdriver. So all right, so first thing guys, I'm gonna take off the hopper. So screw at the back, hopper will come off. All right, obviously you'll turn the grinder off when you're doing this. So hopper comes off. Now what we have is these four little, so I use my fingernail or I can use a little pick. All right, so we'll take those off. So the advantage of the new Rover series is that you can clean your grinder without dialing your grinder back in and losing your grinder setting. So that is the probably key benefit of the new series. Um, and this is what exactly I'm gonna show you. Okay, so that all off, we'll do that, and this will come straight up, yeah? So that is the burr and the housing, okay? So that is done. Now I want you to get in here close and you can see this is the little pin for the clump crusher. So I'm gonna just take that out, it's a little pin there. All right, that comes out. Then I'm gonna take off this safety guard with my trusty Phillips. So people do take off the safety guard. I recommend leaving it on. So now that I've taken the pin out and taken the guard off, that clump crusher will just come straight out. There you can see, quite dirty. Look at that build up. So you're gonna get inconsistency in shot, volume, okay? So this is where my trusty precision brush will come in handy. Um, I'm gonna take that and I'm just gonna give that a really good clean. So I've just cleaned all in there, all the build up, all the residue. You can see all the remnants of all the, the build up and the oils of the coffee beans in there. So that's clean. I'll go in here with a brush as well, make sure that chute is completely clean of any build up. That's done. I might as well do the dosing little chamber here as well. Because once we've got that safety guard on, you're not gonna touch this again. So that's all nice and clean. Now have a good shot of that. You can see inside here, all very clean. Now we're just gonna reassemble. So guys, after you do this clean, your original setting will be back in one to two shots, which is amazing. Um, so typically, if you were doing this on a, on a Rover E, the older model, you would have to, you would actually lose quite a bit of coffee. And the collar winding, it's a long process, but this is maintenance that I recommend, depending on your coffee house's consumption but I, I, it's better to do it more frequently than not at all. So guys, thank you for watching. This is our first and exciting uh, video of a new series, Tech Tips from Depache. So don't forget to follow us, like us, hit the bell notification so you get notified when a new video is in. Hope you enjoy, I hope this uh, saves you some time and money. See you guys.